All right, all right. We got a little Henry Lautrec in the uh, Core 80 group now. And so let's take a look at uh, some of this genius work going on here. Hello, everybody. This is Don Victor. It's another late show. Core 80 late show. That's why it's a little dark in here. Um, but I want to welcome you to the Core 80 call. We're sending out the call uh, to bring in and develop and coach and train and mentor artists who want to understand how to tell profound stories, how to dig deep into themselves and pull out from within a story that is authentic to them, that resonates with others. So as Da Vinci says, the, the master conceives the ideas and the designs, designs the art and the actual execution is left to the lesser minds. And so... At the academy, what we focus on is developing and coaching and mentoring and fathering and uh, discipling and training and teaching and all those other great words. Artists to think, to conceive brilliant and profound ideas and to design them. Sadly, in the art making process, composition and design is the part of the process that's often just bypassed you get an idea you know you don't really spend time thinking through the idea you just oh i want to paint that and oftentimes you're thinking about it as a noun i want to paint that place or that thing or that person and then you go straight into painting that you go into drawing that you render it out and you know but you've gone from that idea to execution and you forget about the design. And most artists are just have never been taught to compose or design. I mean, it's kind of mind boggling, but um, it is what it is. Uh, sadly, most teachers and teachers of the previous generation didn't know how to design either. It just wasn't part of the art culture. And a lot of people say, well, yeah, I took some design classes or composition classes when I was back in college or whatever. Uh, they say that, and then when they spend, you know, one hour at the academy, they realize, oh, crap, I learned more in one hour than I did in four years of university when it comes to composing artwork and also telling visual stories and so this is what this show is about I want to reveal to you what master composers think how they see how they you know some of the tricks of the trade and so when we look at the uh, trek today called The Kiss. I think it's called The Kiss in Bed, actually. Um, <clears throat> I want you to look at how he's composing and organizing his space. I'm going to get into some grid work uh, because he's using uh, the geometry to organize these spaces and this rhythm and this pulse. So... As you go and you watch these videos um, and this information is resonating with you and you and you want to learn this information, you can try to go buy books and that's a good place, you know, that, that books are good. Um, the problem with the books that are out there is most people don't get it. They don't understand it because they really have no basis in the in composition and so they're projecting onto it the, actually the lack of awareness, the lack of knowledge. And they just are having a hard time trying to figure it out. They keep reading the books and they kind of say the same thing, but they know that there's something missing. And that's what I'm going to be able to help you with, is to fill in those gaps so that you get these aha moments. 
and your artwork skyrockets and you start to begin to understand clearly how it is to compose a work of art. So on that note, let's go ahead and get into the artwork here. The kiss. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it for a moment. It's so beautiful. I love the warm underpainting with the cool pastel -y colors on top and obviously the warmth in their flesh. <clears throat> you can feel the heat in the sheets. Yeah, that kind of rhymed. I like that. Uh, you can feel the heat in the sheets. Uh, I like the, the red in, in their hair. Um, This is really, really beautiful. I like how all the lines from the sheets and, and the body is pulling in. Um, as your eye looks at the arms, it creates like this figure eight beanish, like a, like a, imagine like a bean, but like a f figure eight, you know? And, uh, and you can, as your eye moves through that figure eight, you feel them kind of pulling each other towards each other. Which is really, really beautiful. But where I want to focus today on is repetition of a line. And then where, the, where does that line come from? So repetition in a work of art is absolutely important because repetition gives clarity. It gives consistency. It gives rhythm and breath. And if your image doesn't have breath, if it doesn't have a rhythm or a pulse to it, a rhythmic, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fluctuation, a rhythmic uh, stimulus. And the stimulus is what we see and then in this space between what we see. And that needs to be composed in such a way that there's a rhythm to it. There's a pulse. There's a there's a common direction, and Lautrec does that in this piece brilliantly. And then you have to figure out where do those where if a line creates a pulse, where does that line come from? And so you'll see here if we take two forty five degree um, if we take squares with two forty five degree di diagonals in each square, and we overlap them one coming from the left and one coming from the right, you'll get this configuration. And you can see in the uh, center rectangle, that is where the lovers are. You can see that they're in the top part of that. And you can see how his shoulder and her hand come in alignment with one of those uh, Baroque 45 degree angles in the hand at the bottom. You can see his uh, her hair, how it's coming into that vertical and that diagonal, and, and his face and his hair are, are in alignment to that diagonal that's there. So there's a lot of information. And then what happens is we can take those lines and begin to repeat them. And like I said earlier, it gives clarity. Repetition gives brings clarity. It brings focus. It gives a nice hum, a nice pulse, a nice frequency, a nice vibration to the piece. And it's not random. It's not arbitrary line. The line came from the rectangle. So in this case, what's beautiful is when you use that 45 from the square, she's the one who's primarily resonating with that configuration. The, the, the guy has very little 45 degree thrusts in him. He has very little 45 degree marks that make him up. But the woman, she's just consistently being built on those 45s. So that's her energy. Now, If we flip that 45 to the Baroque rather than the Sinister like it was in the last one, so this would be Sinister 45s. These are Baroque 45s. 
and you can begin to see all the little nuances and 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 the rhythm and the patterns of this spacing now it's going to be a little hard to see th these details in this video and that's okay because if you go to core80.com and sign up for free there you'll be able to watch these videos there and below the videos you'll get the images that are in the video uh, and so you'll be able to take some time and just look closer at these slides so that you can begin to understand even clearer what what things are what things are and what they mean and, and how they work okay so this is basically um, between here and and here it's all based off of these two squares now let's go a little deeper if we look at her hair it's on this diagonal which isn't a 45 it's a, it's a different diagonal and we reciprocate that and that comes up through his hair and her ear and his eye and then if we duplicate that and we bring it over well now we look at that like his face is right there aligned in that their arms between between each other's arms are aligned in that his hand her shoulder her ear her hairline, her eyebrow, all of that is in alignment to th this diagonal, okay? And, and also to that vertical. So now what happens is if we take that same configuration of those diagonals and we repeat it a third time, look what happens. Oops, okay. Bam. It brings us uh, part of his arm up there uh, where his shoulder's coming down. It brings us the alignment in the bed, okay? And then if we take that diagonal, that sinister diagonal that now we've done three times, and we continuously repeat it, man, you can see his neck, his ears are built on it. The hands here are built on it the shoulder, um, a lot of the energy there in the face, as well as in her again. And so this is one of the techniques as a composer, you want to be able to use your, your armature from the rectangle that you're using. That armature, which is the architecture that you see, uh, it's the scaffolding of the, of the artwork, that will only consist of about eight lines, seven to eight lines. And so from there, you then pick one of those lines and you start repeating it, giving it a very, very dominant thrust um, in that image. And so in this case, we're going to be looking at a sinister of, the, of that dominant diagonal. And all of a sudden, you just start seeing all of these coincidences, all these things lining up, coming into alignment with it. Now, we know as composers... There are no coincidences, and so this is intentionally done by Lautrec because he was a brilliant composer. So that's this painting for today's show. It's a little bit of a light one, um, but a brilliant one. And... Um, the website for the Core 80 at this point is almost done. We have uh, we're probably around the 90% place on that. So um, fingers crossed I'll be launching the site tomorrow. And um, uh, if not tomorrow, definitely on the 14th on Friday. So uh, that'll be... Um, look out for that so you'll definitely have it by the weekend that new site and in there if you're interested in the core uh, 80 the pricing and the details and all that kind of stuff is there for you um, like i said in the core 80.com website you'll be able to 
get in there, watch these videos again, see the design notes, the slides that I that I create, um, put some other videos in there so you can get some more information on uh, learning how to compose better. And, uh, and then again, if you want to sign up, there is uh, two, two ways of doing that in there, and all that information is there. You're also going to learn, uh, on that page, you're actually going to learn the 12 steps of composition. Um, we, we call it our, our list of lessons or our principal lessons. Uh, so you'll go from story all the way to temperature maps and the other 10 steps in between. And so that's all laid out for you. Uh, there are a couple bonuses on there. There's uh, We'll talk about the meetups because that's crucial to your education in composition is being able to, on a weekly basis, meet up with other uh, artists who are committed and serious about composition. And in, that, in those small groups, you'll be able to get some real, true, uh, actionable feedback uh, from others uh, and you'll also be able to contribute to others. So if, when they're presenting their work and there's something that you see, you then can contribute as well. So it, it's these beautiful little family dynamics almost that are formed there. So look out for that. That'll be here tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely Friday. And um, and on that note, I'll say arrivederci and buonoite. And um, in English, we say good night. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao. Oh, remember, if you're watching this, and especially if you haven't paid for any of this, which I'm doing all this for free, because I really, 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 really just want to get this information out there, make this resource available for those who care about composing their artwork. And especially for those who are seriously, who are serious about com being committed to composition so that they can raise their art to a whole nother level. But if you're watching this show, please share it with other groups, other Facebook pages. Um, you can actually even click on the little button and get a link to the video. So go ahead and put it on your blog, get it out there. Uh, also, you can go to YouTube. I'll go ahead and, and put a link in here in this description to the YouTube page. But there, you'll be able to also share these videos as well. Okay? So.